This time we're going to be doing perimeter. Now you've only learned at this point the tangent ratio. And so that's the only one we're going to be able to use. Alright, so we're going to look at this and we see that we can find the legs using the tangent ratio. We're going to put an x here because it doesn't ask for x, but we need to know it. And we're going to say if I were to go and use the tangent ratio, that's TOA, tangent is opposite over adjacent, I'm going to have my x on top, which is where I want it. So I'm going to prep, put, in, put down tangent of 36 degrees equals x over 49. I'm going to multiply both sides by 49 to get it out of the denominator. And using the Casio this time, I'm going to press 49 times 36 tangent, that's the tangent ratio, and I'm going to multiply and I get 35.6. So this is 35.6. I'm asked to find the perimeter. Okay, we don't know the hypotenuse. Now we could find the hypotenuse using sine or cosine, but you haven't learned to use those yet. Or you may have already learned, and this is refresher for you, so we're going to do it the old-fashioned way. We're going to say a squared plus b squared equals c squared, where, here's Tarzan, Okay, these are his legs, those are a squared and b squared, and the hypotenuse, good grief, six are his legs, and the pot that he's sitting on is the hypotenuse, and that would be c. So, we're going to use the, cat, the Casio this time, we're going to say 35.6, and we're going to press the square button, plus 49, press the square button, now that's the square of 49, the last one was the square of 35.6, so we have to press equals. Okay, that is what a squared plus b squared is equal to. Now, it is wise to not clear your calculator, because you can take the square root from here. You're going to have to take it anyway. So, square root, that's shifted square, and you get 60.566. We're just going to round it to 560.6. .6. And since perimeter is the addition of all the sides, we're going to say 60.6 plus 35.6 plus 49 equals. The perimeter is 145.2. All right, next we're going to do another one. This time we're going to use the Texas Instruments to do it. <clears throat> All right, in this one, our adjacent side is x. In TOA, we don't like the adjacent side to be x. We can do it, it's just kind of a pain. So we're going to subtract and find the degrees of this angle. This is 90, so the, these two together are 90. 90 minus 71 is 19. So this is a 19 degree angle here. So we're going to say the tangent of 19 degrees is equal to x over 71 because this is the opposite, not 71, 34. <laughs> because that's the adjacent side. Okay, we're going to multiply both sides by 34 to get it out of the denominator and we get 34 times tangent 19 equals 11.7. Okay, now this 7 would turn the 0 into a 1, but that won't affect our 7, so this is 11.7. Once again, we're going to use the Pythagorean Theorem. Okay, so we say 11.7. A, A squared and B squared are the legs. Here's our Tarzan man. Really needs to put more clothes on. 11.7 squared plus 34 squared equals, oops, C squared, I forgot to put the square in there. Okay, this is 1292.89. Now, you don't have to write down this part. I need to see this. Um, the tangent equals x over 34. And I need to see something about a squared plus b squared equals c squared, probably 34 squared plus 11.7 squared equals c squared. 
All right, now, this is really important for you Texas Instruments users because you have an answer here, but you cannot just press your square root button, which would cause you to have to key it back in. But you don't have to. What you can do is press, I want to do a square root, so I'm going to press, I want the square root of, and I want the square root of my answer. So, let me see if you can see that. You cannot see that. I want the square root of my answer. <clears throat> I'm just going to zoom it in because I can. Okay, right above your negative sign is the letters A N S, are the letters A N S. That means answer. And since it's in yellow, you know you have to press the second function button, which is to use the yellow, whatever's the yellow there. Okay, so on a Texas Instruments, back to where it belongs. You can find the square root without clearing your calculator. So you press second answer, which is your little minus sign. And when you press enter, it gives you the answer. 35.95. Now the 5 is going to make the 9 change to a 10, which is going to kick over the 5 to a 6. So you get 36. For your other side. Now it's asking for the perimeter, so we're going to clear our calculator at this point, and we're going to say 36 plus 34 plus 11.7, <clears throat> and it's 81.7. So the perimeter is 81.7 feet, and I did not put down my units here, it was inches there. Okay, that concludes the lesson on perimeter.